All right, thanks. Keep the change. But the fire is so delightful. And since we've no... For a guy who just got shot. Hey, we Lisa, how you doing? Kiss good night. Good evening. But you really hold me tight. Quiero sit sit. Here you go. Enjoy. Eat, eat. And my dear, we're still Hey, I hope you weren't. But just because you were coming. But as long as you love me so, let it snow, let it snow and snow. Vito? It is you. You look so handsome in that uniform. Your mother must be so Let him go! Yeah, we'll be right back. When we finally kiss goodnight, how are we going out in the storm? But if you really grab me tight, Hi, Mama. I'm back. Vito. Vito, my boy. <laughs> my boy's home. I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Francesca and me, we wait. Vito. Hey, sis, what's going on? We wait for you. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Sit down, sit down. You must be hungry, Vito. Francesca made you a special dinner. Zuppa di pollo. It's good for you. Wow, looks good, Frankie. It's a shame your papa didn't live to see this. He would be so proud, Vito. Yeah, sure. Vito, you know better. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Benedice, Signore, la manciana, che porta la volontà. Siamo ricevendo, provvedere nel culo che ci viene in un'aria. You should get some sleep. Your room is just like you left it. <sighs> I'll see you two in the morning. Sleep well, mio bambino. This ain't gonna cut it. I gotta find a place to stay. So you have to go back soon? Actually, uh, looks like I won't. Uh, Joe's taking care of it for me. Joe! You want to get into trouble again? Mama, would you rather me go back and get shot again? No. Exactly. No. Joe probably saved my life. Promise that you won't get in any more trouble with that, Joe. You know, your papa used to work for this man at the waterfront named Papa Lardo. He's in the union. You could talk to him. Work hard like you were your papa. Talk to him. Please, promise me you go talk to him today. Okay, Mama, okay, I promise. Grazie, Dio.
I don't give I'm a sorry. damn. I don't we'll care if you money. gotta sell hey, everything I you got. What the hell's going on here? Hey, no. You mind your business, no. asshole. Oh yeah? yeah? Come on, Junior. I'm gonna take you to school. Oh, tough guy. Scaring a woman, huh? Come on, show me what you got. Vito, please! You're making it even worse! Stop, stop, please! Vito, what are you doing? This isn't your problem. You'll get yourself into more trouble, Vito. Ah, fuck. This. Yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of here. You're gonna be sorry. The both of you. What the hell was that all about? I'm sorry, Vito. We didn't want to bother you with this. Bother me? Bother me with what? Come on, tell me what's going on here, Frankie. Right before he died, Papa borrowed money. A lot of money from a loan shark. Thinking he'd get a better job and pay him back. We found out right after you left for the war. How much? Two thousand dollars. What? Shit. The worst thing is, this guy wants it all back by the end of this week. Otherwise, the debt goes up again. <sighs> I ain't gonna make that kind of money working at the port. Who is this guy? I don't know. Mama won't tell me. It's okay, Vito. We'll manage somehow. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. I promise. Thanks, Vito. Take care of yourself. <sighs> I gotta get my hands on two grand fast. I bet Joe could help me out. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, uh, do you know where Joe Barbro lives? To the right of the stairs. And tell him that racket last night has to stop. If he don't like it, he can find another place to live. picked up these broads on my way back from the store. I've been waiting. All right, girls, that's it for now. I got business. Stop by tomorrow, okay? Pick up where we left off. Chop, chop. Come on, Joey. We made Scotland. We can all have fun. The fun's over, baby. Later, I said. Me and Vito here haven't seen each other for a long time. We got a lot of catching up to do. Looks like you're doing okay, Joey boy. Not bad. I tell you, that little Spanish broad is fucking wild. So how'd it go at home? Good. Mama wasn't thrilled when I mentioned your name, though. You know how she is. She wants me to get a straight job. You're gonna look for one? I don't know, but I sure as hell ain't gonna make the same mistake my old man did. 
I gotta pay off his debts, then get back on my feet and get my own place. I need to make some real money, and punching the clock ain't gonna cut it. Hey, you could stay with me as long as you need to, and we'll find you a job where you can make good money without killing yourself, all right? Music to my ears. Right now, I'm living off the 20 bucks the state gives me every week. <laughs> I know lots of people who pay well for a risky job, so to speak. I'm sure I can line something up for my oldest friend. The working man's a sucker, that's for damn sure. You said it. Okay, step one. I gotta introduce you to Giuseppe so we can pick up them discharge papers. Let's go. You made enough cash for all this in the last three years? More like the last three months. I barely had time to furnish the place. Three months? Holy shit. You just gotta know the right people, and you're all set. Cause you know me. So you thought about what you're gonna do now? You said you were gonna introduce me to that guy Giuseppe. No, no, no. I meant, you know, the big picture. When you was over there, didn't you think about what you was gonna do when you got back? Hey, uh, you think I could, uh... What? Drive, Vito? The roads are icy. You ain't never drove a car before. Joe, I was driving almost the whole time I was over there. Yeah, but this ain't no tank, Vito. This is one of the nicest cars money can buy. I didn't drive a tank. I drove a Jeep. What the hell's a Jeep? It's, uh... Never mind. It, you're gonna let me drive a... All right, all right. Here's the keys. Just be fucking careful. All right, when it's cold as fuck outside, you gotta give it a little more gas than usual. That's the pedal over there on the right. I know, Joe, I know. Okay, now make a right here. Then just go straight for a while. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow it down a bit. No need to get pulled over for no reason. Hey, Vito. You know what time it is? It's daytime. How the fuck should I know? It's time for you to get your own fucking car. Yeah, I'd love to if I could afford one. Who says you're gonna pay for it? You know, you wasn't kidding. They really taught you to drive over there. At least something good come out of it. Ooh, get a load of that, baby. Nice, that's a 42 Jefferson. Beautiful car like that, it'd be a shame to smash the window. You should grab yourself some lockpicks over at Giuseppe. Suspect is about six feet tall, dark hair, medium build. 